Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Seopolis Submerge server, and you're probably going, dude, you've got like a floating 77 microseconds per tick floating over your head. What's up with that? Well, it, it, I ran the observable mod, and uh, I have it bound to my insert key, and I typically run it for, for 60 seconds to see how the server's running. Um, it gives me a link to the individual information, uh, plus it also has this overlay of what's going on, and I can look around. Oh, there's my floating uh, thing. A lot of the stuff is, is very, very low tick, and I prefer it that way. There's a few things over here that I'm going, hmm, not so much. So, you know, the this toms over here with my mystical agriculture low low tick all these machines low low tick that's problematic these um strainers here um uh, all these these crafters uh and there's a bunch of toms uh this right there there's a hopper pulling out and that's super high tick and i don't know why uh there were a bunch of other things i've slowly torn down a bunch of these things uh all these are turned off uh but they're they're ticking way harder than they should be and uh i've been moving the stuff over to here uh in a hopes to get rid of toms but you know there's still going to be some some heavy tick going on this one makes sense because it's doing the the nether mulch and i've got the everlasting everything upgrade in place on it in fact if we hit uh r for this um this is the the tier four of all of these and you know they're 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 it took, it took me a little bit to, to get them all there but now that i've got another right that's not a problem uh and you can see i was playing with some other upgrades here to to make sure things were working right but this is going pretty fast you see it just zipping through there so this one is working hard and this one is also working hard getting the prosperity shards out of the the appetite these are doing nothing there's nothing in here there's no reason for these guys to be ticking uh 226 and 197 there's no reason whatsoever that's frankly that's bad code if you're ticking that hard you're doing too many checks uh and it doesn't make sense and i bonked my mouse uh these also crafters they're this is how i'm getting the nether star essence and then the, the the second set to make nether stars this makes diamonds for me and emeralds and appetite and this is whatever i have in here but there's nothing there why are you ticking twice as much i i don't get it now uh, yeah, I, I just don't get it. Uh, here, I'm going to take that overlay off because it's kind of abstract. You know, okay, so what I did over here, because Tom's ticks, and it, it uh, I got rid of most of the high-ticking Tom bits uh, over there, but uh, underneath this uh, diamond chest, there is an importer from refined storage with an... Oh, can I click on it? Eh. No, I can't because uh, I've got a cover on it, but uh, there's an importer down there with a stack upgrade. So as stuff comes in here like that, it grabs a stack at a time, regardless of how much is, is there. Uh, most of the time, it's not huge amounts, but it's fast. Uh, anyway, so that's doing that. And then I also have over here an exporter and it's connected. It's hard to see. There's a cable running to the rest of the stuff. This is set up to export out these various essences. And so instead of using toms to move the stuff, I'm just using pipes. And that's worked pretty well. Uh, in, in, so I can just come over here, I can harvest a bunch of stuff. Here, let's just harvest a bunch of stuff. Boom. And I can grab all of these bits. Oops, I got something I shouldn't have. Oh, the paint kit, I don't want that. Uh, and so I can grab uh, almost all of this stuff. And, and, and I do want to upgrade that, but like I'm running into here. I dump all the, the stuff into there, which means let's run over here real quick and emeralds and diamonds will start getting stuff in here. There we go. Emeralds is getting some stuff. Uh, so it's, it's appetite, all the various bits that it's got, it's importing in there. Uh, and so it, this will just make these items for me very nice i probably don't need this entire area with all these other random things uh, making stuff i'll probably shrink this down but not for right now 
Uh, and, and I'll continue to, to break this down because it, it's got a lot of high tick more than I expect. Uh, instead, what I want to do is my favorite thing. Uh, I'm going to come over to here and what am I missing? I'm missing. Oh, uh, catching up on stuff because <laughs> I've done a lot of stuff here. Uh, I did this, uh, got the wither stars and skulls, and we did the, the nether star uh, together, killing the wither. And then blaze rods, I went over and spent a little bit of time in the nether uh, shooting blazes next to a spawner out there. And then I looked up blazes. Yes, I, the, the last thing I was ending the last episode was, I wonder if I can summon blazes. Yes, if you have your spawner, you put a lava underneath and then you feed it sticks. You'll summon blazes. So I did a whole bunch of blazes uh, that got, I only needed three blaze rods, but I got plenty now. I made the nether infused water. I've been sending mulch through in one batch. And so I, I run it through something like 20 stacks of mulch and then... Um, uh, once the, the it ran through once and I repaired my, my net, then I, uh, ran through the, the nether mulch, which is what's doing now. And I got solium dust. I got quartz dust. And I also got debris ore, which I convert into gravel ore, which turns into netherite scrap. And then I made some netherite ingots. And if we look at the recipe for that, we use a bedrockium ingot plus the rest of this. And that gives me a netherite ingot. Well, I, I made me a, a seed real quick. Plus, I processed a whole bunch of stuff here because I've got over 600 of these scrap. Uh, that works really, really well. Uh, so catching up with that. Um, I think I just toggled rain. Uh, anyway, so got nether quartz uh, from here. I, I made a nether quartz seed. I already made a, a glowstone seed from earlier. Uh, all I need to do is make a netherite pickaxe. Uh, that's not all that hard to, to do. Just take a diamond bit. I'll make those and then make this uh, bedrock breaker. But I think I'll do that later because right now I want to take two of you. Why I need to make an upgrade. Let's do that right now. Oh, let's do uh, an emerald one. Because I've got emeralds now. I can, I can definitely do that. And I will hit that here. Doink. And that makes me wonder, uh, 2.5K, I have more because it fell into my system instead of going into the drawer. Can I pull it all out? Almost. It, there's, as far as I can tell, there's not a, a super easy way of moving stuff from a disk into the storage drawers when my setup is just this. Uh, take a look. I've got, you know, three going on the three and a half six, uh, K uh, items in here, but I, I like to have as much in the drawers as possible uh, back to Solium. Uh, there we go. Let's grab the rest of these. There. Now, when I go, dig, dig, it goes right into there, which is where I want it to be. Let's grab the rest of these. There we go. Now, I, I missed that that had uh, filled up. Uh, which is not good. Anyway, I need two of these to come over to here with just some stone. And that makes for me the tinkering table from uh, mystical agriculture. And then the other thing I need to make here, this is the awakening altar. And then I can make uh, four of these awakening pedestals. And then if I put that, oh, I need a little bit more gold. Ah, perfectly done. Uh, there's these. All right, I need that. I also want to sit there and make two machine frames because it would be really nice to have a seed reprocessor uh, in the, the chest where I dumped the sole solium for, for a few seconds. It has tons and tons of inferium seeds, and I, I want to reprocess those. I also want to make a harvester. So I don't have to stand over there and, and harvest the stuff manually. It would be great if it just automatically harvested that. However, I'm going to have to make a machine upgrade base and then upgrade that and upgrade it, upgrade it. And I think I need to go to this level, which is an area plus four. That might be my, the, the nine by nine. If it's plus four to the right and plus four to the left, I don't know if I need that full amount but I'll play with it, but I'm not going to make that right now. 
Instead, I want to set up that stuff. So uh, I've got here, let's grab these things right here. I've got a little setup area for this, and I love how it shows where things go. That makes life so much easier. Otherwise, I'll be off by a tiny fragment, and I don't like that. Ah, hey, I'm off by one. But it shows it to me, which is good. And let's boink, put that there. Okay, so uh, one of the things that I would like to do is make some supremium blocks and these supremium blocks i want to awaken so for that i need some cognizant dust i need to move you out of the way let's put you down here you down here uh, these go into these holders and they can hold up to 40 but i need 50 10 each oh nope 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 how do i get you out ah good <laughs> Oh, we had to do my pack. All right. Uh, so that's good. And then I need to hit you with these cognizant dusts. And you may be saying, uh, Grok, where do you get the cognizant dust? That you get when you have mystical enlightenment on your weapon and you kill a wither or the end dragon. And that takes a block of supremium and turns it into a block of awakened supremium. And let's move that off. Can I right click you? into place cool and now i can do the next one so there's green and yeah and let's do the blues there and the reds there and now we're good to go and i think for what i need to to make this is all the the stuff i need and i can reach those from here perfect so i'm gonna make the uh, awakened i keep wanting to say awakened draconian the awakened <laughs> supremium Yes, that's the cognizant. For a split second, I thought I put the, the supremium block on there. Anyway, so uh, one last one. And I'm going to be using this to upgrade my stuff into the awakened format, which is the top tier for the uh, the awakening altar here. Um, and, and I don't know how much more I'm going to be using this for. Uh, oh, it all went into here. Ta-da! And so I can break these down into the Awakened Supremium Essences, and that's all done there. Uh, I need to turn... Because I, I I want to sit there and upgrade my armor and my weapon to Supremium. And if we look at the option for that, I need to make a gemstone and an ingot for each, and then 40 of each of these will uh, change this. And you can see this one here has uh, an attack of 24, but this one now has an attack of 29 and has two augment slots instead of just one augment slot. Uh, likewise, if I upgrade my armor, like if we look at the, the armor for the same reason, um, this one has, uh, let's see, three and 10, but one augment slot, and this has two augment slots and the, the stats are better. Hi, Millie. I'm recording. Why do you need to be here? Give me pets. Okay, I'll give you some pets. <laughs> anyway, so I want to upgrade those, and um, and, and I'll I'll do that later. But first, what I want to do over here, quit bonking my mouse, kitty. Uh, I want to make the uh, upgrade slots that uh, I want to use. Uh, let's take you, and I'm going to put you... Oh, I have to go underneath to tell it. Uh, the pattern to, to go into there. Yes, I hear you, Millie. There, so I already picked up one in place. And then I will grab the Nether Star and this premium. And, you know, this would be easier to do, Millie, if you weren't bonking my head saying you wanted pets. What if I pitch you with my left hand? Hi, right. how's that? Is that better? <laughs> She's telling me that's much better. Uh, this is oh it already pulled it out i need to stop doing that this is the flight augment and i definitely want that uh that here this one here uh pufferfish 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 brood 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 uh this should give me the water breathing augment which i definitely want uh, if, if i don't have the neptunium stuff on i need that uh, let's grab these and this one 
once it's awakened, um, both of these want to go on the helmet. And uh, once it's awakened, I'll have enough room for two slots uh, for my helmet, which is very good. This, uh, so to you, you, and where are you going, Millie, under my monitor? You are a silly kitty. It's getting very close to their their dinner time, and so both Charlie and Millie have been uh, up on my desk very recently, going, "Hey, did you forget about us?" Is it no? I haven't forgotten about you, but it's still not dinner time yet, as the the alarm hasn't gone off. And this will give me the wither resistance, and these for right now are the the top augments that I really want. I want flight. I want water breathing. I want night vision, and I want the the mining fatigue and the wither resistance uh, taking off of. In fact, I can take this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put the tinker table right there and let's put the there's the supremium chest plate put that here I wish there were a button or something to sit there and say go in but you have to pull it out <laughs> and that gives you the 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 uh, you can come in here and pull it out later and then pull out and it's empty again uh, but it took me a while to figure out that that was the thing put that on and now I've got flight and that makes me super happy. I really do love the the augmented flight. I more than anything else, uh, being able to have that uh, creative flight is fantastic. Uh, since I'm here, I might as well go ahead and upgrade the rest. Uh, I think I'll do. I have to do the water breathing first. So. Uh, otherwise, I, I, I can't really roam around underwater too well. Uh, I'm going to put you in place and that this one only does the helmet. Uh, let's do the wither resistance here for now. And then we'll put the mining fatigue. I once I've got flight and everything. Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> so, um, I, I do need to upgrade these. But um, once I get flight, there's a guardian temple I'd like to to excavate for the fun of it but uh, every time it got close I just couldn't mine anything because the stupid guardians would hit me with mining fatigue well not no more mining fatigue resistance not happening so this will make me super super happy in fact uh, let's go outside real quick so uh, I don't have night vision yet um, I, I do like that because that also helps here underwater to make it easier to see things but uh yeah i have flight which makes me super duper duper happy all right i, I do need to do the awakening stuff uh shall we do one together yes let's do that all right i can take these you can go away i want to oh here let's supreme supremium there we go uh to make the the awakened supremium helmet i need this so yes i need two of these gems boot, boot. and then i need two of the uh well i need eight total but we're gonna start with this for for right now oh now that i've got those uh do do Toss that into the system. And then the prosperity of these two. There we go. Doot, doot. So that gives me those pieces I need. And then the central piece. Uh, let's do the helmet first so I can get to my night vision. And then the other parts. I need air, earth, fire, water. So air, earth. And here's where plugging in these in upstairs so that uh, these can automatically get filled in would be handy to do now let's put you on the center and it doesn't matter where these go and uh well, let's uh, awaken these the, the helmet there we go awakened helmet let's come into here Pull it out of here. Uh, you go there, you go there, and now it's got both of these and, and it's no longer uh, locked. I'm not really sure what's here. 
I don't know. Uh, anyway, but this gives me both water breathing and night vision, which is fantastic. Uh, and, uh, oh, I can also have the, I've got the spell of respiration on there. I can strip that off and try enchanting it again. But, uh, yay, night vision. I really like night vision too, just because it brightens up everything. It makes it much easier for the, the video, um, as it gets compressed on YouTube to look much, much better. I like that a lot. All right, so that is really, really, that makes me super happy. Uh, let's take the harvester. And if I come over to here, I'm assuming it points in. It does. This needs power. Okay, so this is going to harvest. There's where the upgrades go. Uh, you know, I, I would like to reconsolidate my base. Because uh, right now, power and everything is kind of spread out. Uh, this is spread up. I would like it to be a lot more condensed. Uh, seven by seven <laughs> is such a huge area. And, and I'd rather have vertical stuff, like that upstairs area there. You know, maybe personal area up above with enchanting and a few things and then storage and then power gen and then you know processing of of the stuff yeah i i th there's all sorts of stuff that i i need to do and i i'm thinking one of the best things to do is just kind of move this stuff now that i've got flight i can go anywhere and uh maybe get up and out of the water let's uh zip over here hey flying's faster yeah, that night vision instantly kind of uh, brightened up everything down down here, which is precisely what I wanted to do. Uh, but yeah, up here, I've got lots and lots of space. I could build up here. And this beacon tells me that the build height is way up there. So there's plenty of space here for what? All together now? A floating island, of course. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, I, I do like floating islands and I think that might be the next thing to do because frankly, that base is too big. It, it's, it's way too spread out. It makes it annoying for me and I would much prefer having something, uh, my, my typical thing is a three by three chunk area. I like that size. Uh, I don't have to use that entire thing, but that, that's a good base. I, I think. I'm going to make me a floating island and then build a building on it so I can start having more condensed stuff that, that that's too spread out. I don't like it, but I've got flight. <laughs> oh, that makes me super, super happy. Uh, I am going to, between now and the next episode, wrong thing. Oh, Dr. Uh, I'm going to make the netherite picks and get the uh, netherite bedrock breaker curio working. I won't jump down in there. Uh, I'll, I'll save that for when we're ready to progress on to whatever the next chapter is. I'm not sure what the next chapter is. <laughs> Colored caves. Uh, so that's, that's where we go. That's going to get us into the raw mix stone and we start getting into the extending crafting and all right, but that's for a different, different episode. Oh, I got flight. That makes me super, super happy. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer, having too much fun with mystical agriculture and getting flight here on the FTOG Seapolis Submerged server. Oh, loving the flight. And thanks for watching. Bye.